Greetings everyone. In this video tutorial, we will learn how we can locally host WordPress websites on our computer. By installing WordPress on our computer, you can learn how to make websites or create a professional one before uploading it to the actual server. Please note, these websites are only on your computer thus are not live. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Anyway, to get started, let's open the browser and go to heyletslearnsomething.com. Go to Downloads and search Host WordPress Locally. So this is the one. Click on it. You can either go to the official website or here's the direct download link. Well, this software has both paid and free versions. We will be using a free one where you can host up to three websites. Please click on the website links for more details. For this tutorial, I will directly download the software. The size is about 417 MB. So the download is completed, so in folder, double click the zip file, extract it or direct install. It might take some time. Click on continue, accept, continue again. Let me close everything else. OK. And finish. Now open desktop server. You can just go with the default. Click on next. Allow access. And click on next. We are creating a new website. Click next. Give it a name. Any name you give in. Dot Dave and CC will be added. I will write here let's learn something. So this is the location where the files are. You can simply browse and select another one. Let me create a folder on desktop. Here let's learn something. And we'll browse to this location. And create. So it's done. Click on next. So this is our website link. Click to open it. We are on the WordPress installation page. Fill the credentials and install WordPress. So it's done. Now let's log in using the credentials you used earlier. Now we are in the WordPress dashboard. Let's try updating to the latest WordPress. Update now. So we now have the latest WordPress installed. Likewise with the plugins. You can go to plugins and update or add new. I will delete them for now. If you check the website, this is the default site. Now you can do anything you want. If you want to install new theme, go to appearance and themes, add new, upload or search for one. Okay, let's try to install this one. You can also upload your premium themes if you want. Activate the theme. So if I visit the site, the new theme has been activated as you can see. Thus you can work here as a normal WordPress website. Like if you go to pages and then add pages and make the necessary changes. 
You can also install new plugins. For example, let's install Elementor. Just make sure you are connected to the internet. Activate Elementor. Then you can edit with Elementor and work accordingly. Ok, close this. So all our WordPress files are here, as you can see. Later, if you want to make the website live, you can move these files. All the files are here, wp contained all the plugins and every files. Here are all the themes. For instance, if I delete all the themes, of course you wouldn't do that. Anyway, if I go to the dashboard, appearance and themes. So here's only one theme as we deleted the rest. So you get a complete WordPress install on your computer. So create the website you'd want. One more thing, if you go to localhost, here's the website we created and we can also go to its database. So this is our database. After you are done with your website, you can simply export the database. So here's the database and here's the website files ready to be transferred to make it live. So this way you can create a website. Hosting on your own computer will give you ample opportunity to learn about WordPress. Or if you are professionally working on it, then you can host on your computer and later transfer to your host. Hope this lesson was helpful. Thank you very much.